To be the best, you need a lot more than just raw skill. You need maturity, discipline, and a laser focus on what's in front of you. But when you pour every thought into the game you love, you risk losing some of your people skills. And I, I wanna kind of tell you right away, the MVP for this tournament by Astro Gaming is Sergey, and I, I have to get some words for you about this young player. He is a monster. Yeah. <laughs> and 6 a.m. Pacific, we'll see all the LCS matches you've been waiting for. Yeah, you gave an applause for that. <laughs> But remember, we're still looking for your answers to our Twitter question, which one of the new players has impressed you the most? To be fair, these people are professionals. They're there to play games, not to be comedians. Still, as a fan of these players, you can't help but wish that they gave us a little bit more sometimes. Zywing, have you got anything to add? No. Nothing, okay. <laughs> what a surprise. Let's head back over to you guys on oh the past desk. Now, some pros have found ways to express themselves and have fun while still dominating the competition. That said, sometimes they go a bit overboard. Nice, nice job though from both players. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> That's <is> talent! <laughs> Meet Sung Hyun Jun Ding Jun, a beloved South Korean Tekken 7 pro who's been a top player for years despite his affinity for low tier picks and class clown antics. They lost. Uh -huh. Oh, not, yo, not. giving them a stare down? Yo, they're looking oh, at each man. other one now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a win for the crowd. So he yes. gives. Oh, look, look at that. <laughs> yeah. Playing it up. <laughs> But did his antics make it harder for Jun Ding to find consistency? How did he strike the perfect balance between focus and fun? And did getting absolutely shredded have anything to do with it? Oh my god! Jun Ding, no. Jun Ding, Look no. Look at Jun that Ding, no. Jun Ding, oh feeling himself. God. He's rocking. He's rocking. Jun Ding? Jun Ding? Before we set some PRs with John Ding, let's talk about merch. We got a ton of great hoodies, t-shirts, and crewnecks in a variety of beautiful colors. Our touch grass hoodie not only shows the world that you are in fact a well-adjusted human, but using it in your workouts adds plus five strength to your build. Follow the link in our description to check it out. So before Jun Ding was sweating it out on the main stage and in the gym, he was a young lad in South Korea looking to make it big as a professional gamer. But at the time, it was in a completely different However, Tekken eventually became more than just a hobby, because, like with StarCraft, Junding happened to be pretty goddamn good. So good that he managed to make a respectable run at one of his first international events, EVO 2017. And he did it by playing objectively bad characters. This one is also gonna be really good. I have not seen this dude at an event uh, outside of Korea in a very long time. It's uh, Judding. Uh, Chloe generally considered among the worst characters in the game, believe it or not. Uh, it's Chloe and Gigas who are considered weak. Wake up three. Walls there. Oh, he tried to confirm it. That would have been sick. What the a duck! Walk. Are you serious? Oh my goodness. Man, she actually hurts. Setups. Yeah, dude. This character, when played well, is definitely scary. Just like you saw there. Six rounds straight was that? Yeah, that was a that quick was, tour. That was a body montage. Huge shout out to Jung Ding, did great, really good performance. Over the next year, Jung Ding did more than just show his worth as a Tekken pro and a low tier hero. In fact, the things that made him stand out amongst the rest had little to do with the game itself. Instead, Buddy was just a certified goofball. Yeah. And Spiro. Oh yeah, and Spiro. Okay, Jung Ding looking around. 
Whoa. Oh, Don't stick there's up the camera. I found it. He was trying to find the camera. He found it. Lucky. Unnecessary roughness. It was the California roll yeah, starter. Yeah, that was it. And he knew he was in back turn. So mm -hmm. it was kind of like situational Cali awareness roll. there. Woo! Eye contact. Mm -hmm. I like that. Ooh. Don't look at you me. You too? Man, Jung Ding. Beautiful. Fist pump. Yeah, that was like a potential pivoting, you know, momentum shift with that backswing blow. But Jung Ding! With look water at that. in the mouth. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. He's, he's, he's turned up. Now, being a bit out there is pretty par for the course in the FGC. But even then, massive personalities like Daigo seem to flip a switch whenever they take the stage. They can go from eccentric rock stars to concentrated killing machines in an instant. In contrast, Jonding seemingly lacked that off switch. Now this is the run back in loser bracket. Oh, paper, paper. Paper, paper. Rock. Paper, paper. Oh, and Jimmy switches it up and Johnny went his scissors. But besides his humorous personality, Junding had something else that separated him from the rest. He is an absolute unit. <laughs> However, Junding's affinity for hitting the weights went way beyond his own physical health. Actually, a large part of his commitment to the gym life was intentionally subverting the expectations people had for gamers. From picking up low tiers to dumbbells, Jun Ding became a pretty beloved figure in the FGC. Even if you didn't look or play like him, it was pretty hard to ignore his infectious charm. Close, very close first game. John. <laughs> <laughs> he killed me with the look there. He is not happy. Oh my God. Jun Ding able to tie it up. It's now one apiece between these two. Not Good just job, crowd. Good job. Yes. Good, pick. Good, Good pick. That's a win for the crowd. So he yes. gives, oh, look, look at that. <laughs> yeah. Playing it up. <laughs> 14 seconds. Chanel got one more bar. Spends it on the fireball. It hits. Oh, my tackle. God. Be careful. Oh, I got rage at 50-50. The mid. What's going to happen? I don't know. Oh, oh my the God. slow motion is John Ding. Going to the winner final. They wow. Hug. wow, what an amazing match. And as he worked on juggling that tension between being a crowd favorite and laying down the hurt in-game, Junding finally started to see improved results outside of the gym. Despite falling just short at BAM and Combo Breaker in 2018, he was making deeper runs than he ever had before in big tournaments. Of course, what a John Ding, man, he's just getting better and better. Last week, third place in Australia. This week, second place here at Combo Breaker. He's moving on up, man. Yeah, and that's not easy. He's using characters that aren't even considered in the top five. Right. He's doing a great job, and he's been he's been representing hard. If I were as part of UIU, I'd be very proud of how he's without doing. Without a doubt, without a doubt. At CEO 2018, Jun Ding had another shot at getting the first major win of his career. And after making magic happen with an incredible run for the loser's bracket, Jun Ding made it to a grand finals rematch with his teammate, Kudans. This was one of the most important moments in Jun Ding's career. So, naturally, he had to put on a show. The low kick's blocked. Jun Ding's still alive. Hit the race drive. That might be it. It should be it. Yo, John Ding! Game number one. <laughs> he can't even believe he hit it. Got the low parry. He has another opportunity. What's he gonna this do? This combo's not gonna kill either. Mix up. Oh, oh. the rage on with the pixel. John Ding! That was madness. He had no life left. Yo, oh, I'm so good. I'm so good. I'm so good. Oh, oh the rage gonna hit. The wall's, right the wall's right there. The wall's right there. What's he gonna do? 50-50, he got oh, blue! He did one right! Johnny Fist, that's not Just what he break wanted. it! John oh Ding wins the tournament! John Ding with CEO 2018 here in Daytona! The crowd is going wild! I don't think I've ever seen a spring kick win it like that. After years of competitive play, John Ding grabbed his first big win. And he did it with his low-tier mainstays. But instead of carrying that momentum forward, John Ding's performances began to dip. He was still a strong player, but throughout 2019, Junding struggled to even make top eight. So, 
What was the problem? After finding his stride and winning a major tournament, why did things fall off so quickly? Uh, I think it was in 2019, but at that time, I didn't win the qualifier in the final. I did a lot of work in the qualifier. At that time, the score was the score of the master. The score was the score of the master. It was the score of the master. 그때는 제가 이제 마스터 대회를 다한 다섯 개 여섯 개 정도를 계속 구등을 했었거든요. 그러면서 이제 마지막 대회까지 아틀란타로 가서 대회를 했었는데 그때도 이제 마지막 대회인데 첫 경기에 제가 가자마자 졌었거든요. 그러면서 이제 좀그 해해 그 대회 끝나고 이제 LCQ 가기 전까지 한 2주 정도 남아 있었는데 그때 진짜 집에 와서 정말 천장만 보고 한 2주 동안 누워 있었거든요. 이제 그러면서 이제 생각을 했었죠. 근데 아 뭐가 문제일까라고 생각도 하고 이제 뭐 게임이 솔직히 지금 막 엄청 철권이라는 것 자체가 쉽, 쉽지 않기 때문에 막 여러 가지 고민을 했었는데 It's not hard to see that Junding wasn't exactly setting himself up for success. For starters, he was still playing with characters that many saw as unviable. And as the Tekken scene grew, so too did the level of competition, making it even harder to win with low tiers. More importantly, Junding was struggling with focus. He competed in Street Fighter V through 2018 and 19, and despite poor results and his fan base urging him to drop Street Fighter, he was convinced he could do both. Ultimately, it all became too much for him to bear. Junding could no longer balance the life of being a dedicated Tekken professional with going to the gym, playing other games, and being that fun-loving guy everyone expected him to be. Chalkwondo final to Kamezo, Tayotu, Hanging, Se, or Sega G, Mokoi, Sonode, Kujune, Street Fighter to Onjung to Hadaga, I got to the Andeta, Street Fighter to Jungapogiago, Chalkwondo
chiseled body aside, Junding's time spent developing himself and searching for that inner harmony paid off almost instantly, with a fourth place finish at EVO. But Junding didn't spend all that time grinding Tekken and missing out on leg day for fourth. He was hungry for more. And just over a month later, at the Rev Major, Junding got another chance at glory. With his near flawless Julia and reliable Eddie, Junding cruised through to the semifinals without dropping a set. But after falling to Rang Chu in the winner's final, Junding needed to defeat one of the greatest Tekken players in the world, Atif Butt. Atif had just gone on a deadly loser's run, and he wasn't going to make Jun Ding's quest for a rematch with Rangchu in the grand finals easy. But Jun Ding still had a trick up his sleeve. And in the final set, Jun Ding pulled out one of his old mains, Chloe, proving his so called low tiers could still get it done. He's not going to be able to kill him, though. He's not going to be able to do it. No but lucky rage. Chloe has rage. Oh, another low. Able to go for the rage arc. Jun Ding goes wild. They rush the stage. Jun Ding showed he finally mastered the balance he'd been searching for all those years. Just yeah. whistling to himself, like just there another day in the office. He's praying, he's praying, ladies and gentlemen. He's praying for that reset. But infinite stage inbound. No, no, don't do it. Power to stage. No, no, no. Other side. Oh. It's a mix up of its own. Arctic snowfall. It is oh, gonna kill. No, not it's yet. not. It's not, not little, enough. Little premature celebrations. The drive gets denied. One more. Both of them. Chip out. And John Ding resets it, ladies and gentlemen. Trying to poke away, but John Ding one big launch away from sealing the deal here. About to be 30 seconds left on the clock. Able to get the pickup. Could this be it, ladies and gentlemen? John Ding is your Rev Major 2022 champion. Through the rest of 2022, Jun Ding continued to post solid results, eventually just making it through the last chance qualifier for the Tekken World Tour Finals. Oh! Nice. Sidestep through before once again. Brilliant keep out from Jun Ding. Rage available for Rive. Oh! Oh! Back one plus two. It misses. Oh! Nothing coming. Jun Ding! Jun Ding! Is it enough damage? It's not going to be enough. He's going to be a little bit short. Mix up time! Race drive mix time! What's the mix up? How is he gonna do this? Oh, oh, he did not put it all! It doesn't oh. matter! He's backing off good, interrupt. Oh, oh the counter hit again! And John Ding is gonna take it over Golanda 2 to 0 and move into losers finals. Uh, uh, oh, big damage. He didn't get the back. Oh, and John Ding is gonna make it into the grand finals. And although he inevitably fell in the grand finals to Atif Butt, his incredible loser's bracket run with both Eddie and Julia solidified that we are now truly witnessing a reborn Junding. There is a tremendous amount that we can learn from Junding, both as a competitor and as a person. He rebelled against the expectations that people had for both a professional gamer and just a sweaty one. Sure, he's one of the top Tekken players in the world right now, and an absolute specimen at that, but deep down, Junting is just a lighthearted guy that loves fighting games, playing his shitty characters, and pumping some iron. And even more importantly, Junting is the prime example of finding your own personal perfect balance. He's someone who showed us all that it was possible to have discipline and a winner's mentality without killing the thing inside that makes you who you are. <laughs> am I jacked? Am I? I'm not jacked. No, I, the only, the most amount of physical activity that I do is, is cycling, which just like systematically like like all cardio just like kills testosterone <laughs> like it's like it's like why marathon runners are so skinny right